Now you can rewrite this equation a couple ways. Is delta y minus delta l, right, on this side. Well, if I take, if I leave it, if I want a minus delta r here, I got to actually add, I got to subtract from this side an s k delta l. Everybody agrees? Okay. Or, um, I'm sorry, I got to add it to that side. So equals s k delta k minus delta l plus delta t f p. Okay, you can just verify my algebra if you want. But this is exactly the formula we were talking about. That is, this is growth in labor productivity. Growth in labor productivity has to be equal to technological progress. That's my number two. And this is what we call capital deepening. That's number one that I put on the board, right? These numbers are not how important they are. They're just the numbers I put up earlier, right? There's no, there's no significance to the order, all right? So that would be a way to think about growth and labor productivity, okay? So that earlier look, looking at labor productivity up on the first board is really saying labor productivity would be in this world coming from two places effect of technological progress and capital deepening. Now, the neoclassical growth model, of course, says that these two things aren't unrelated, right? Because what did the neoclassical growth model we did the other day say? What would happen if you had technical progress? What would it induce? It would typically induce capital deepening because if it raised the marginal product of capital, we then want to have more capital. We keep increasing capital until the marginal product of capital came back down to its long run level. So these two things would be causally related to each other and they would complement one another. That is, the improvement in technology would typically be associated with a further growth in output per worker generated by capital deepening. Okay? Any questions that people have? So that's one equation I want to keep in mind. Delta y over L equals SK delta K mi minus delta L plus delta TFP. My second equation I want to rearrange slightly differently. Delta TFP equals SL delta W over P plus SK delta R over P. That is, all I'm going to do is take this delta P and distribute it between these two pieces. So I'm going to bring the delta P, I'm going to put an SL of it with this one and SK of it with that one. Remember, if those add up to one, that's cool. And I can have change in the real way. Now this is a really important equation. It says, look, if I have constant returns to scale, then if I didn't have productivity growth, and this gets back to your point from before, if I didn't have productivity growth, my ability to increase W over P, increase the real wage, could only come from something else, which would be reducing the real return on capital. Right? They're on a teeter-totter in that case. You want to push one up, you've got to push the other one down. Right? So the only thing that's going to allow both of them to grow or one of them to grow without the other one growing is pre technical progress, which is why I think technological progress is thought of as being pretty important when we think about long-run growth of the economy. Because it's hard to think about, well, we're going to drive this up perpetually over time by continuing to drive this down. Right? Yeah, maybe you might come up with a model that says, I can perpetually drive down the return to capital, but at least the neoclassical growth model doesn't tend to say that. It says, look, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I could hold that constant, or maybe I could make it fall a little bit if people become a little more patient, but you're probably not going to be able to drive it down, you know, 
think about 100 years of growth, maybe this number goes up many, many times. It's hard to believe you're going to be able to cut this enough to make that happen, right? You're going to have to really cut the hell out of the return to capital. In fact, you'd be very limited, right? Because if you're you just can't, how much can labor share? You know, th this is just not going to happen. If this one, if you want to quadruple this term, I don't know. I mean, you'd have there's not enough there, not enough there.